No one is beyond gold's reach. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hembar. Today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of David Cook's King Pinch. King Pinch is a 1995 standalone fantasy novel by David Cook. It is set in the Forgotten Realms, if it isn't immediately obvious. <laughs> and it is actually technically Noble's Book One. Now, Nobles is uh, a bunch of standalones that essentially just focus on a noble. So again, it is a standalone fantasy novel dealing with noble. I actually reviewed Book Five, I believe, by Lynn Abbey, The Symbol's Gift, uh, sometime last year, if I'm remembering correctly. But I decided to go back to Book One here and try out this one. So this is an interesting novel, it, mostly because the location doesn't get a lot of attention. Uh, Akapur is on the Lake of Steam and at the mouth of the Thornwash River and is the home of Pinch, uh, whose guardian is the late man Farrick, uh, the third who once ruled the city. The year is 1366 DR. The prologue introduces a funeral procession for a person of great importance, and the king has died. Pinch, whose true name is Janel Famiso, is a potential heir. At the start of the story, though, he is a thief and crime lord working in Eltaro, which is close to Baldur's Gate, kind of, kind of more popular in recent fiction. Uh, his partner is the halfling uh, Sprite Heels. <laughs> uh, I really dig the Gord the Rogue and Linkmar vibes that you get at the beginning. It's also a sort of rags the riches story, but a really dishonest uh, to honest, or maybe not, depending on how you view kingship. Uh, it could be the opposite, actually. It could be going from honest to dishonest, if kingship is a dishonest thing. We get to see Hell Riders and a Temple of Lathander. There's military excursions. There's a good amount of deities mentioned, like Cyric, Mask, Kelimvor. Lovey Otter. Uh, halflings have furred feet in this story. Uh, there's much politicking. Uh, there's some scary dwarves. There's a lich. And there's more. It's a little darker than many of the Forgotten Realms novels I've read. Uh, not much in tone as Erebus Kale, but the battles in the aftermath are sometimes rather grim. And the thief being the main character has its perks as along these lines as well. The basic plot is interesting enough, but um, there is some interesting fantastic, as in fantasy, uh, twists, which make it more exciting. Uh, much is not as it seems, so to speak. Cletus and Lisa are some side characters of import. The first is an old soldier, loyal to the old king. The latter is a priestess of Lathander sent from Elturel to recover the stolen items from the temple there. Of course, the most fleshed out character is Pinch. Uh, and he's not that memorable in a lot of ways, but the story himself is fine. It's interesting, you know, can't be popcorn fantasy fiction. Uh, Pinch only appeared in one other fiction piece as well, the short story Gallows Day uh, in the Realms of Infamy Anthology, which I have not yet read, but I do look forward to reading at some point. And again, it's nice to see a part of the realms that you don't see very much. I've read very little fiction at the Lake of Steam and none in Akapur. Anyways, Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I'll catch you next time.